Now to a developing story where people are rallying to complain about poor living conditions at this El Cajon apartment complex. 10 News reporter Riel Creighton is joining us in Riel. The renters say that the roof was being repaired when the heavy rain over the weekend just flooded their apartments. Absolutely, Kim. Uh, this, you can take a look, is all that uh, the neighbors here say stood between their homes and all of that rain that fell over the weekend, just a thin little tarp. The water damage for so many who live here was the last straw. They say this place was already infested from everything from bed bugs to cockroaches, nearly unlivable. And now they say they're refusing to pay any rent to live like this. So many neighbors inside this apartment complex wanted to show us just how bad it is. Uh, Dirty water, she says. Inside her apartment over the weekend, Gloria Velasco says it was raining down from the walls and cabinets. All she could do was grab bowls and buckets. She showed us behind the couch. We have cockroaches, she says. I don't know if you could smell the mold already. Can you smell it? Auntie Moreno took us inside her mother's apartment. Dirt. All of this is wet. Moreno says there were problems here long before this with infestation and things that never get fixed. Makes me want to cry because I don't want to see her live like this. Courtyard Villa's apartment manager says they were repairing the roof on the building when Sunday's rain hit. Neighbors claim workers used only a light tarp as cover, so their apartments were flooded. And in some units, the roof collapsed. <laughs> They just put those boards up yesterday, says this man, complaining that from his bed he can see the sky. The apartment manager agreed to talk to us only on the condition we not show his face. He says they're working to fix all of the problems, but tenants started complaining immediately, refusing to give them time to do the work. I feel sorry for them and for me too because I got the same problem too. We're going to do the, the right thing to fix it, everything. Now, many of the people who live here are Spanish speakers only, and they claim they're being taken advantage of because of that. Some neighbors say that they were threatened with eviction for talking to us. The manager denied that and says everyone here will be taken care of. Not nearly enough for the people we talk to who say they've heard it all before. What their next step is, we'll have coming up tonight at 7 o'clock. We're live in El Cajon tonight. Riel Creighton, 10 News.